The three of us break. One. Two. What do you want? It's the police. It's okay. Our ace is good. Do you want to see a doctor? Tell a family member or a lawyer? Does hit and run in August mean anything to you? We called each other several times. Afterwards, you have to come to the summons. You're moving. You're not making your changes. So, do you want to tell someone close to you? Tell love. No, any way you release me afterwards. It is for the magistrate to decide. Are you surprised? There's a lot of stuff rolled up. A dirty mirror on the table intrigued the agents. It could be. Narcotics? No. Go ahead. You can watch. No drugs, just a pretty poorly maintained apartment. The man cooperates, but it's handcuffed. Let him get out of his house. It's better that way. The man is cooperating. He knows why we're here. We know that he has not forgotten. Everything is fine. See you right away. Will he admit to being the author of the accident? It's all the work of the team of the judicial support group of the CRS Otterout. Barely arrived, the suspect is immediately placed in his cell, waiting to be heard. The audition is Aurora, the only female CRS in the company, who is in charge of it. You can put 920M and 820M released from police custody for an audition. You are going to see her with 10 years of experience, Aurora never lets go. We're going to the audition. Wear your shoes. She must get him to admit that he was the author of the accident. First, I'm going to take back all of your identity and I'm going to remind you of the facts. No profession. Two children. Are you already known to the police or the gendarmerie? It's a small no. Let's start with the facts. A hit and run. After a traffic accident. A lack of a driver's license. and a lack of insurance. As I told you, I don't remember at all. I don't know, I don't remember anymore. The man denies all responsibility protecting amnesia due to alcohol and medication. Have you ever driven without a license? It's happened to me before, to park the car. Is that all? Well, yeah. Why say it's to park the car? When I asked you about the 25, are you talking about borrowing? Well, yeah, when I arrived at night. You don't drive. Have you ever driven long trips without a license? No, not always. No, I don't remember. Was this vehicle insured in August? I don't know. However, you told my colleague that you were not insured. He had you in September. You had my colleague in September. He called you. You said something could have happened, that it was not impossible. And you were sure that you were not insured. You knew that. 
Suddenly you say, I was driving without insurance. Now you don't know any more. You tell me that the vehicle was in an accident, but you don't know why. The car, it was insured for a while, but I don't know if it end before or not. Because there's nothing there, you're not saying anything. Antoine will in turn try to put pressure on the defendant for him to confess. Even if you don't know you've had an accident, or if you were the driver, you admit to yourself anyway that your vehicle was in an accident at the time you had it. Yes, yes, I recognize that. No, the rest is not mine, nothing comes back to me. Finally, sir, you are going back to prison. We have checks to do at the level of your schedule, at the level of Check to see if you could actually be in this vehicle at the time, and to see your profile a little bit. The defendant will therefore wait in the cell, a respite that the team will use to gather evidence against him. Concretely, there he was put back in prison. We have other items that have just arrived that we are going to exploit against him, and for us, fortunately. Factors that go against him, but in our favor, because it's not for nothing that we went looking for him. In the next office, a decisive testimony, faced with the police, the former partner of the arrested person. The CRS summoned her to report telephone interviews she had with the suspect the day of the accident. How did you know he was in the hospital? He sent me a message. Has he explained to you why he is in the hospital? Yes, that's for sure. I knew he had an accident, he told me. He told you, I ran into a car. Yes, he said to me, I had an accident, I got into a car. He did not say, I borrowed the car. No. Didn't he tell you where? No, he just told me he was on the freeway. On the highway? Yes. These new elements are transmitted to Auror. She intends to use them to make the defendant confess. Two hours after the start of the hearing. Following this morning, I got more information that don't really go with what you're telling me. Which even go the other way around. Think carefully before answering. Are you sure you didn't call anyone on August 19th? I don't know if I called someone. I'm going to tell you something. The calls, I know they have taken place. You said you had an accident. I don't know. There's no need to deny it. Talking about memory lapses. Memory lapses have a good place in history. Do you stand by your statements? Do you maintain that you have never had an accident on the 25th on August 19, 2012? I'm asking you to say yes or no. Yes, you maintain. I don't remember. Despite her determination, Aurora will not be able to get the suspect to confess. At the end of his custody, the man will be released pending the continuation of justice in this case.